Hello Bits Marines, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here, and in this video I'm going to show you how I paint my Sons of Horus Space Marines for the Horus Heresy. So when I was looking for ways on how to paint this colour scheme, I noticed there's a lot of uh, sort of older tutorials online, and they don't use the more sort of recent paints that have been released from Citadel. Um, so in the last sort of few years they released the Sons of Horus Green, and I thought it would be nice to do a scheme around that paint. Um, no doubt with the upcoming Horus Heresy stuff at the time of filming this, and um, Horus Heresy 2.0 is about a month away. I'm sure GW will probably put some more paint tutorials out, but in the meantime I thought I would share how I paint mine, just in case anyone's looking for a way to paint these around the Sons of Horus, um, yeah, the Sons of Horus green. So, so yeah, um, let's hit the desk and I'll show you how I paint my marine. So here I have the Sons of Horus miniature, and he's been given a grey primer. Of course you can prime them in any colour that you so wish. Um, if you do go a black, then you may need to use a base paint before this step. So I'm using the Sons of Horus Green, which is of course what the scheme um, revolves around. It goes on really well actually, and um, on the sort of light grey, um, a couple of coats is more than enough for a nice smooth finish. So the next step is to take some Agrax Earthshade and just cover the entire miniature in this wash. Now, um, that might be a bit of a surprising step, um, but it works really well as a nice sort of shadow colour. So you could, if you wanted to, just apply this really carefully into all the recess areas, and then you won't need to do the next step, which will be to neaten these up. But um, for me, I find it quicker to do it this way. And there's something quite satisfying about just slapping a wash down. Um, just make sure I don't pull up too much. And yeah, on these Mark III Marines, um, it, there's a lot of little sort of panels and stuff, so it really brings out the detail really well. So now I'm going to neaten all these armor panels up, come on back in with the Sons of Horus green, of course leaving the Agrax Earth shade in all the recessed areas. And this will brighten the Marine back up. So this step will take a little while to do, but I do find it a bit quicker than just applying the wash sort of more carefully. And I will point out as well in this step that I'm actually using the um, Sons of Horus from the Citadel Air range, as it's thinner than the layer paint. Um, you want a sort of thinner consistency when you do this step, and that will give you a nice smooth finish. So the air paints are really good for that. Next up I'm going to edge highlight, and um, I'm using Administratum Grey. So I tried a few different edge highlights for this scheme, and this is the best one that I could find. Um, I tried like mixing some of this in with a Santa Horus Green, um, I think I used um, Gorse Blaster Green as well, for Siddle Edge Paint, and they just didn't look right. And I found using the, the light grey, um, Administratum Grey, um, just works really well, so yeah, that's what I'm using. So next up I'm taking Retributor Armour for the gold shoulder pad trim. This is my favourite of the Citadel Gold paints, it just goes on really well. And I'm coming back in with that Agrax Earthshade wash. So really I should have done this step um, after I put the um, base down for the armor, and then I could have just washed the gold and the green at the same time. And um, when I've been batch painting these, that's what I've been doing. Um, but just for the purposes of this video, I want to show all the green armor, then all the gold, etc. And I'm taking some Rune Lord Brass to highlight this. Again, it's another paint that I really like from GW. And it works well as a highlight for the gold if you don't want anything too sort of super shiny. It works really well. And to paint the bolt gun, I just take some Abaddon Black to start with. And at this stage I just paint it over the entire bolt gun, including all the metal areas. That's obviously a really good base for silver as well. And then I take some Iron Hands Steel for the silver.
I wanted to use this rather than lead belcher because I didn't want the silver to be too dark on the final miniature. Then I take some nun oil and just apply it over all of those metal areas. And then I take some Dawnstone to highlight the black. Then I very carefully try and paint some Fiston Red in for the eyes. So it's a lot harder on camera. And then finally, just a little spot highlight of Wild Rider Red, which is even harder on camera. And with that, he is finished. And here we have the finished miniature. So I've got quite a nice bright looking base on him to contrast with the armour. I think that's going to make the army look quite striking on the battlefield. Um, but yeah, it's as simple as that. A nice, quick and easy tabletop ready scheme, which I'm really happy with. I've been channeling a lot of these out recently to get an army ready for Horus Heresy 2.0. So yeah, really excited for the release of that. And yeah, I'll have a, hopefully, quite a sizable force of these. And yeah, I'm enjoying painting them, which is really good. Um, normally when I'm painting this many miniatures of the same colour, um, I don't find it that enjoyable, or, or I get bored sort of quite quickly, but with these, um, I'm channeling for them quite quickly. Um, I will confess, um, for my army, I've been using the airbrush to do the base layer, which speeds things up quite significantly, but you can, as you can see, you can just do it so easily with a brush as well. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and please do give it a thumbs up if you have, and... Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to keep up, up to date with all our videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.